We found a sock manufacturer operating in Elsie's River Industria that has to make a sample sock for its client to show the final expected product from the line. These sample socks are stockpiled until they find causes to donate them to. On a site visit, the manufacturer asked WISP's assistants to find worthy causes to donate their stockpiled sample socks to. Green Cape hosted a sock and wine pairing event where staff were encouraged to help pair the socks to create the best fit pairs possible. 1,700 pairs of socks were paired. WISP identified five organizations to donate the socks to. 150 pairs of socks were donated to the carpenter's shop who offer comprehensive social care support to the homeless in the City Bowl through free ablutions, casework on referrals and weekly primary health care clinics. They also offer inexpensive accommodation for 40 previously unemployed men to help them get back on their feet. 400 pairs of socks were donated to True North, a non-profit organization that is pioneering early childhood development initiatives within marginalized communities. They sold the socks at 5 rand each and made a profit of 2,000 rand. This was donated back to the Freyhond community and the funds were used to restock their ECD center. The community teenagers used this opportunity to show their support and it became a trend to walk around showing off your best match socks. 300 pairs of socks were donated to the Harrington Buyback Center, a localized recycling informal collections hub that provides a high-tech, professional and socially responsible recycling collection service. They create opportunities for people in need, homeless or unemployed, through collecting recyclables. 500 pairs of socks were donated to the Haven Shelter. Their mission is to use all the resources at their disposal to reintegrate homeless individuals into society. 350 pairs of socks were donated to United Church in Claremont. They again donated the socks to Paulsmore Prison. So I went out to go and meet one of um, our members um, just as a follow-up and a continuation um, and to see if they had any new um, ways that they had not um, maybe know that don't know how to deal with and also if they maybe had any new opportunities that we might uh, make use of or um, any new textiles that uh, they that they had and so on my visit the sock manufacturer had actually told me that they had been stock stockpiling um, sample socks and these stock, sample socks um, they usually keep until someone comes and either request for them or they find um, an alternative for the socks. So he had asked me um, if I can't maybe help him with finding, um, uh, finding organizations or finding uh, causes that could maybe make use of these sample socks. Uh, representatives of Green Cape um, came to visit our organization. We're a non-governmental organization working with the homeless uh, in Rowland Street in Cape Town. And one of the basic needs of our client base is really around clothing, showering facilities and toiletries. So when the needs analysis was done, um, the people from Green Cape identified that they would be able to provide uh, clothing or socks, in this case, uh, to the clients of the carpenter shop. The success of the project DEF, I, I would think, is that we took socks, sample socks, um, 3,400 sample socks, I should say, and turned them into something that someone else could use. It is not perfect, it wasn't perfect, but for them it was exactly what they needed at the time. 